Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening and welcome back to Disney with the Gregories and today we're taking another tour of Primark. Now our last visit was probably a couple of months ago because it was before our last holiday and I'm just holding up a few things here that we didn't see on that trip so I believe them to be new. Um, however, they didn't have them in very many sizes, so this area seemed to be only really smaller sizes. They had some really sweet um, kind of Mickey sketch ones where he looks happy and grumpy and he's winking. Um, and then as you saw that last t-shirt, which is kind of almost looks like painted strokes um, with a paintbrush, and they're all six pounds. There's some Looney Tunes ones stuck in here, so I'll try and avoid those. But here's another red one of Minnie and Mickey. The only thing I noticed is those, the ones with the highly printed um, graphics seem very thick and kind of heavy. Um, you know, they kind of almost the print on the front stuck to each other, so you had to sort of separate it. But this was a really, really sweet Alice in Wonderland one, and I'm not actually usually a huge fan of the Alice merchandise. But I really like this one that they didn't have my size, so that was a no-go. <laughs> oh, Simon tries walking off there, no, back, back, back. Um, and then there's a really cute together since 1928 Mickey and Minnie, that's really sweet. And then there's also, you know, there's always a lot of stitch merchandise, but there's a few new items in here. Um, then with a Simpsons jumper thrown in there for good luck and a couple of... I think maybe Looney Tunes, oh, no I'm not sure actually. So I'm going to show you a couple of options here and they have some really sweet shorts on the end for £5. As you can see that hand brush kind of painted brush one matches the t-shirts. So here's a Mickey top that I've not seen before. Um, so it's kind of like a dusty pink um, and then kind of an aged look design on the front and they're all £11. And then they had the matching um, jogging bottoms, which were really sweet. And I, I think, I want to say they're 11, but let's just check if I remember right. Oh, we didn't show you. <laughs> Here is a really much brighter pink um, Minnie Mouse top. Now, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments, but I think she looks a bit strange, but <laughs> never mind. And here's the shorts I was just talking about. So they match the T-shirt, which I showed you um, earlier. Then they've got some red Mickey ones. Oh, they've got the together since 1928 so they match the t-shirt that I just showed you as well and they also had some stitch options more jumpers along this side and I'll show you a couple um, in a minute some new some not so new but we show them anyway because not everyone will have seen our last video um, so it's good to share and these were in, in a range of um, sizes from XS. So this again is one that I actually bought from Primark in Val de Europe in Paris. Um, so that's one that, that was there last time, but they had good stocks of those. And here's a Winnie the Pooh one. Now I love Winnie the Pooh, but I just don't have any of the merchandise. I don't know why. Um, so I need, to, I need to stock up on that. So that's there. And then they had a very, very sweet Chippendale one, which I was going to get, but they didn't have my size, unfortunately. It wasn't the day for my size. So you've got um, Chipmunk University, which I thought was really cute. They always look very mischievous, don't they? So, and that was nice. And then we've got a Stitch one for all the Stitch lovers. And that was a really nice, bright, kind of light blue. I think the next one I pick up is the Donald New York. Now I've seen this a couple of times. This has been in there a few times, and I believe that's all they had at the bottom actually. Um, so it was smaller sizes, but I just love that one. And I just think it's really sweet. And of course they had Eeyore. Aww. He looks so sweet. I love the bow and his tail. Um, and that was a really nice navy jumper and I feel like I looked at the sign and it was all made from recycled materials so that's really good. A um, couple of stitch options over here, a long line t-shirt which is quite nice, a full zip hoodie and then they still had a few of these um, puffer jackets. Now 
again, stupidly, I tried on this jump, this jacket, and then I really probably think it was my size and fitted fine, and I didn't get it saying, oh, if they had my size, I would get it, but actually I think I should have spent more time looking in the mirror and realising it that it fit. Uh, but I do like that stitch t-shirt, it's made up of lots of little word stitch in different colours. And then this again is what I mean by this Marie one. Couldn't get it apart. It was all stuck together. <laughs> it's all the product print and it was very kind of stiff, the front, but it was sweet. I love Marie. And then here is just a plain white t-shirt with Mickey Mouse. Can't really go wrong there. I know some people do like the design to be more um, subtle, but I also love these long line t-shirts. But again, they only seem to have extra small, small, medium. another white option there they seem to have some different colors behind each one on the shelf so it's a good idea just to look look behind and see what else especially with these jumpers just coming up they're all a little bit mixed so here's like a light blue option with a kind of um, painted mickey shape on here here's one that says like be kind uh, mickey mouse stay strong so i think it's like a mental health one which is really cute and then they've got this kind of orange and red mickey mouse this was part of the 100 range, which we did see last time. and um, wasn't really my kind of colours, so I didn't pick it up, but it's um, I still got some left if you want it, and that's eight pounds. And there's Winnie the Pooh jumper. Oh, I love that colour, actually. That's so sweet. But again, I could only see one or two of those, so, and that's really cute. The original, the original ones since 1998. Oh, 1928, sorry. <laughs> it's not very old if it was 98, is it? She's going digging for more. Wow. That's really quite nice. And they look quite a relaxed fit, actually. And I loved the fact that the tags on the different designs were like Mickey shaped for Mickey ones, or they were Winnie the Pooh shaped for the Winnie the Pooh ones. I really liked that. And then there's a Dumbo jumper here. They had more sweatshirts than hoodies actually. I think that's kind of the more the easier style that they go for. Some were hoodies, and they've got this matching set on the end as Simon just showed that they had before. And then this very bright kind of grass green. Just trying to show there it says Walt Disney down the arm. And then we've got Simba, that's a hoodie. Such great range of sizes actually, you know, going down to 2XS, it really makes sure that, you know, there's a size for everyone. Oh, I loved that one. I loved that. That was so sweet. I just don't trust myself with white. I don't know if anyone else is the same. I'm just going to throw food all over it. I did it with my 100th anniversary, my 100th anniversary spirit jersey. Bought it, wore it, threw a cake pop down it. So luckily that came out. I really like this with all the all the sort of um, main characters on, and that was nine euros, nine pounds, sorry, nine euros. I'm thinking about doing a Disney haul. And then here is a really sweet orange Mickey jumper with again all the classic crew on there: Donald, Mickey, Minnie, Daisy, Pluto, and Goofy. I remember them having this very bright 100 Dalmatian one last time, but it's not for me, but they also don't have very many left, so they were obviously very popular. And then I tried getting Simon to get this matching Mickey and Minnie um, jumper, but he wasn't up for it. I don't think it was really his colour, the grey, so it's a really cute mini jumper. the mickey one to go with it which i thought was, it wasn't a gray it was like almost like a taupe color um it was kind of like a very kind of muted color i picked up this one um so i picked this one up for our next trip so i thought it was really nice i, I really liked that and i thought that was in the shops before but simon's mum said she'd never seen it before so i think what she'd seen is this mickey and pluto one um actually and that's a hoodie Not as much range this time as last time. A lot of the 100th anniversary stuff had sold out. Um, 
Oh, we're going upstairs now to the pyjamas. Lots and lots of really spring-like pyjamas here. So they have a really big Bambi and Aristocats range. So £9 for that little crop top and short sets with the Bambi design there. A little top. Are you the loveliest flower? And then above, so that's £8. And then I think above they had the shorts to go with it. Oh, no, no, it was just a t-shirt on its own. And here's like a crop t-shirt and short set for 11. And I love that floral design. Actually, they would have been really good for like Mother's Day, wouldn't they, in the UK? But that's gone now, we've missed that, guys. But on to topping up our spring collection. Lovely pink and floral and like light green sort of sagey colour socks. They were really, really soft as well. They were lovely. And then really soft set here. So like a kind of a loose uh, strap top, crop top um, with some um, trousers there. And they were really nice and they were £18. So not bad. They just really, really felt really, really good quality. Really soft, really lovely, really well made. Love Aristocats. <laughs> and then here we've got a Thumper night dress. And some Bambi trousers, they were nine pounds. Loving this green this spring, aren't they? And then the Arist Aristocats night dress. Although I suppose maybe you could wear the trousers with it because there's no shorter tops to go with these trousers. Oh, this is a really sweet, um, very sort of like more tighter shorts um, and strap top set for Aristocats. Lovely pink and with like orange accents. And then some really nice pyjama leggings there, nine pounds. And they're like cuffed at the bottom. And then another pair, looser ones, a little bit like the other design in the Bambi. So it's kind of ruched at the front. Looks a bit cropped in the top, I think. Long sleeve, kind of ribbed material. Um, so £10 for the top. And then £13 for the bottom. So that's £23 for the whole set. And then they had, again, some nice socks. But these were actually ankle socks. Cheaper. They were three pound, three pound fifty. Very sweet. And then some um, slippers, which look really nice. They had like a glittery bit around the bottom. So eight pounds for those. And then we've got this kind of flower power T-shirt. Nine pounds. And then a very, very. Oh, and here's just a pack of pyjamas that I found, so cuffed at the bottom. They were £12, and just the Marie um, standard set there. And then they had some Poo, Minnie, Mickey, Pluto, Goofy, and um, Pooh Bear ones. Oh, Science fighting with the tag there. All £12 for the sets. They had so many, actually, so they had, like Marie... Um, they had oh, there's some Looney Tunes ones, Mickey Mouse, Tigger, Barbie if you're interested, Spongebob, um, some green Mickey ones there, £11. Alice in Wonderland, Stitch, and Bambi. Um, oh, I didn't see those ones actually. Monsters University ones. They're really nice. They're nice and bright. Wouldn't, wouldn't get lost in those, would you? And then they've got some Mickey Mouse ones. Well, I like the bottoms. I'm not sure if they say Mickey Mouse or Disney all over them. Um, again, lots of stitch options. So I think there's a stitch um, night dress, an aerial night dress, £3. Oh no, sorry, £8 each. I can't read. <laughs> and they've got aerial. I really like this mint green colour that they're using for the aerial merchandise. It really, it really looks nice, makes all the colours pop. And then here's some pyjamas that they had um, in the 100th anniversary range. 
They only had a couple of pairs of these left and they're 10 pounds each. Um, and then they have this really, really nice aerial range of pajamas. And again, I love the fact that they've made all the tags bespoke. That's 13 pounds for the bottom. And then there's this crop top that, let's see what price this is. Cause I don't think it's that too expensive. I really love the sets. They're really, really nice. So eight pounds for the top. And that's really nice kind of minty aqua colors. This set was actually a kind of bridal set. So it was said happily ever after. And it was kind of like a night shirt. And I think on the back, we turn it around, so that's 15 pounds. And it says happily ever after on the back there. And then I think the pajamas next to it. I'm not sure if they had other ones. I noticed it said bride's besties. So I imagine the bride wears the night shirt and all the bridesmaids wear the little shorts and top set. And that was 13 pounds. And then they had this Lion King um, night dress, some um, Simba and Pumba and Timon pajamas for nine pounds. And we've seen these before, and I'm still not sure whether they would just be really hot in bed. Simon said they're really soft, um, but I just think they would be really hard. I don't know if that'd be comfortable. Nine pounds for the top there. Kind of like a racer back front design and then the bottoms they're loose at the bottom they're not cuffed at the bottom and those are 13 pounds and they had such great alice options they had this alice in wonderland shorts and top set here so that was 13 oh that was 13 euros oh yeah we had a joke about that i'm not sure how many pounds that is or whether that's meant to be pounds and they had the cheshire cat night dress Alice in Wonderland, nine pounds, little shorts, um, shorts and tank top set. Very bright, lovely range. And that's nine pounds for the night dress. And then they had this really lovely silky set here, which was kind of like a short sleeve shirt style top, and then some long. Um, loose fitted bottoms so it's 13 pound for the top and these were really nice and 13 pounds for the bottom so 26 pounds for that set and um, they had this 100th anniversary kind of night top left over and um, I have seen before a couple of times they've still got some of them if you're wanting it so that's nine pounds and then they've got this um, sort of Donald Mickey Is it Donald and Mickey I think it's just Donald and Mickey I know Pluto's on there um, hooded kind of sweat top lovely lime green Donald Disney t-shirt there and um, night dress sorry and that is 11 pounds. He looks very angry, doesn't he? <laughs> then they had these stitch towel clips. So I believe you attach your towels, your sun loungers on holiday with them. And I believe it's his, I think it's Angel as well, isn't it? So they also have the Angel eye masks, £2.50. So the towel clips were £3. Um, they had some window shades for the car for £5. They had luggage straps for £2.50. Luggage stickers for £1.50. So that's cool. You can pimp up your luggage. You wouldn't miss it then on the conveyor belt, would you? That's a really good idea for any Stitch fans out there. They had the Stitch mask as well. And then they also had um, Stitch and Angel neck pillows and also Stitch packing cubes. Oh, that has a little hood you can put over your head. Oh, I see. Oh, that's cute. That'd be cosy, wouldn't it? And then they had the Stitch packing cubes at the bottom. Oh, we're struggling for a price. We're struggling for a price, people. No price. Is it on the tag at the top? Oh eight pounds eight pounds for the neck pillows 
big fan of the packing cubes. I would say get the packing cubes, they're great. Just really helps keep everything together. And I know a lot of people actually pack their outfits inside their lounge flies and keep the day's outfits all together. You can do that. Just make sure you utilize every space in your case. Fill your socks, shoes with socks. And do everything you can. Fill your backpacks, fill everything. Loving the luggage there. So the large suitcase was 45, small suitcase 35, which seems a bit odd on the pricing. They also had these really sweet red ones and they had two sizes in these. They had a, like a larger cabin size and then a smaller cabin size. And then they had a few bags left over. So I think, I'm not sure this was in the 100th anniversary range, but it's a little um, kind of side bag with a metal chain strap. And they've got a stitch holdall. And then they also had one of the 100th anniversary holders, they're 22 pounds. Um, and they had one of the 100th anniversary holders that we've got here as well, still never used. Oh, I'm modeling the stitches for you there. Five pounds, what a bargain. I thought those are absolutely great. So grateful for any stitch lovers out there. So much cheaper than any kind of Disney years you get at the park. They're from the Disney 100 range. Oh, 550, sorry, worth a buy. Um, and they had lots of these kind of larger tote bags here um, for four pounds. And then lots and lots of travel luggage sets. So this is a set of three for 14 pounds. So you've got the larger bag, a smaller bag and a really smaller bag. And then this is like a pouch set, everywhere is better with you, how sweet. Um, so there's a larger pouch and then another little kind of envelopey pouch that you can fill. And we use these a lot, you know, for makeup, for toiletries, for camera gadgets. Um, everything has its little pouch so it all keeps um, safe and together. And you just know where everything out is. If you get, on, get to holiday and you need to grab something out, it's right there. And lovely little um, mini mouse um, bag there I know a lot of people with kids make sure they know where all their swimming gear is so it puts all that in a packing cube with some towels so when they get out on holiday they could go straight to the pool if they want they just grab that bag and they're off um, so you can really utilize the packing cubes and things like that however you need and then they had this Lion King bag before. They had some more of these leftovers. They're more of like a toiletry bag style. Um, and they are five pounds, but they're really, really nice. Really good size. And then they had a few of these um, alphabet little envelopes, which I actually use for my crafting. I keep stickers in there, um, but they're really useful. I know people put their receipts in them or sort of bits and bobs that they collect. Here's the um, Walt Disney 100th range cotton bags, that's four pounds. Really big in size, I'll show you one of them in a minute, but they're really good. And then some sliders or flip-flops. Um, again, in that kind of 100 range. And they are eight pounds, so they're really good. Really good for like holiday by the pool. I had some scrunchies some flip-flops so yeah as I said earlier they've got a lot less clothing in because they seem to have got all of their summer just general clothing in but they've moved it all to kind of one section which was nice so it was all together and really easy to navigate um, and they did still have quite a wide selection so I would definitely take a trip down and see what they've got seven pounds for this um, little bag And then they've got like a more of a boot baggy style bag. So that one's really nice. So you can put shoes in there, so eight pounds. So you can put shoes, if you're going sort of on a longer trip and we're taking lots of different shoes, you can put shoes in there, keep them separate from everything, especially when you're traveling home if anything's dirty. And then they've got this original since 1928 cap, five pounds. Again in that green color, must be big this year. Just me modelling there how big the Donald bag is. Um, I mean, you're going on a serious shopping trip, aren't you, to fill that? So that's £4 again. 
and then they had um, three different options on trainers. They had these ones, which are kind of like a bit more high top um, looking. They had these ones, which I really, really wanted, but they just didn't have in my size. They only had a seven and they were just a bit too tight. And I thought to be comfortable in the parts, I really needed to size up. So they were 16 pounds. And then they had these ones, which I've seen people buying before, which are the 100th anniversary ones. So have that accent of the green and all the characters on them. But um, I'm, I, I liked the ones with the silver. And um, then here they had a great range of Marvel kind of arts and crafts, notebooks, stationery sets, canvases to paint in, sticker sets, um, eye masks. What's that? Oh, a phone lanyard, pens. Um, I think our Batman calendar, all sorts of different bits and bobs. Really cute little notebooks, which I know I've seen some people take on holiday colouring sets and you know what even if this wasn't something for your children you could really pick up some great um party gifts you know if kids have got class parties you know four pound for a big colouring book and crayons set four pound for a set of marvel pens um really really great ideas here to just be able to pick up something you know that's really good but isn't going to break the bank and then they had this mini mouse set as well so they had a reward chart i joked with simon that i needed one of those little notebooks again a canvas you can um, paint notebook sets little bambi notebook there coloring sets below just really really sweet ranges and just really affordable um, little yeah like a pencil set there i think that's a set of crayons some stickers i did get the sticker set that was up, up at the top because i got that for my crafting as well so um then they had some pencil cases with some pencils in the pencil case with the kind of popper design on it with the um oh this is what i got this is the set i got for with a thousand stickers so i picked those up for my crafting then they had some bambi um pencil cases and then there was a pencil case set there as well £3.50 for a pencil case and like it had a little notebook rubber pencil sharpener in there and then a little Encanto set you say honey I say honey then they had all of these colouring sets which again would be great for kids on planes in the car if you're going to Disney on the Euro Tunnel or Eurostar really affordable £1.80 and it's a little book with sheets of colouring and it comes with the crayons they've got princesses moana Minnie mouse and daisy duck um, loads of different options and then i just found this so you can pick it up i'll try my best open it up and hopefully you heard that i don't know where the light up bit though is planner. does that bit light up Oh, really. uh, it says light up, yeah, so something must light up. Can't see what or where. What would light up? Oh, there. Oh, oh yeah. It's changed its colour. I don't know if you're going to be able to see uh, no, it. No, because it's iridescent, it's reflecting different colours anyway. But the peaks of the castle. Oh, there we go, I think you can see it there. Oh. And so next we take a trip downstairs to the home section and they had a couple of stitch blankets for six pounds a one six one seven so the more colorful option is seven they had a hooded throw for 16 pounds which I thought was really really lovely that's gonna keep cold keep you cold I hope it's gonna keep you warm but <laughs> um, they had again some more of those hooded throws some water bottles with kind of glitter inside them metal stitch water bottles all for seven pounds and that really cute designs there look like some stitch um, they had some stitch cushions but they also had some stitch towels and then they've got some tea towel sets here which are five pounds then on the end they had some Bambi metal water bottles um, another stitch kind of plastic bottle an Encanto uh, metal bottle so really a kind of mix on this end um, 
so they're six pounds because they're smaller lunch box don't think that was actually disney at all i think that had just been put in there just because it's kids and colors and then they had some stitched lunch bags for seven pounds and then they had this um pillow do what makes you happy which was really sweet um and then yeah the encanto bottle and encanto um plastic water bottle again with the um glitter like the stitch one and then around the corner they've got some stitch pillowcases for five pounds fitted sheets for seven and seven ten and twelve depending on what size you want and then they had some duvet cover sets as well so that was a double for 24 and they had a king there for 22 so it's a different design but was cheaper for the larger size so that's interesting and a couple of other pillow options there as well um, cushions sorry probably more likely and then Star Wars metal water bottles again these were seven pounds so um, with a full color wrap around those and then they had a Grogu um, hooded throw there and then they had a Grogu um, bin for I guess kids bedrooms although I was tempted to get one for our office actually I thought that was really really sweet and then they had some Mickey Mouse pillows we do not need any more pillows we've got loads it's getting a bit of a problem <laughs> they were eight pounds each and then they had some duvet sets here for 16 pounds for the single 22 for the king and I don't know if we see what the double was I don't know if they had any so seven pounds for the fitted sheets uh, or maybe again it was like 7, 9 and 10 oh 7, 10 and 12 yeah so the king is 12 pounds then they have these canvases which we'll later show you another design actually we found that they had another design and these were 7 pounds each so these were really good value again a range of Mickey and Minnie metal water bottles I think again 7 pounds each yeah and then they had matching um, throws. So they had a kind of screw top water bottle um, and then a sippy lid and then they had a um, water bottle. Then they had these beach towels. Again, love the, f love, the love the fact they've done the tags in a Mickey shape. I think it's really cute. And then they've done this throw for seven. Again, some of the pricing I don't really get. You've got seven, you've got eight. Surely it will be the same price, but I'm not going to argue. Um, and then the tea towels are two pounds. They were really cute. And they had some other tea towels that here, which are more of like a kind of subtle Mickey. And then they had more of what I would call a hand towel there for the bathroom, maybe. Um, yeah oh they are tea towels five pounds yeah and um, then they had another mini screw top metal bottle smaller size there were six euros and then they had this mug um set mickey and mini some will show you an option that's not broken so i want to broken the hand off the other one seven euros seven euros for two mugs is not bad when if you go to disneyland paris you're going to pay about 17 euros for one i know granted usually they're more complicated designs love this i thought this would be great to collect all simon's bits and pieces that he always leaves around the house and then i tidy up and then they go missing <laughs> um here they always have a range of kitchen bits and bobs they had one um plates and bowl set that was reduced i'd actually not seen these before when they had them in bulk measuring cups and spoons this one i've not seen before it had more of like a strainer on it as well so they were reduced so two pounds for those but the ones that just the spoons with the mickey hands were reduced to one pound so if you're looking for some kitchen gadgets and want a bargain and like mickey then uh primark's the place to go um, they had this mirror on a stand and then I think that is I forgot to pick it up and look I think that's more of like a canvas art 
Um, so again, Marvel hooded throw, 16 euros. Interested to know if they fit adults and kids. I wonder how big they are. Um, but they have Marvel lunchbox sets, um, mugs. They've got Captain America, the Hulk, um, lots of different um, beach towels. So if you're going on holiday or just um, looking forward to the summer sun in the UK in the summer, they were seven pounds. And then just a random Marvel bottle there and like a bolster cushion for the bed. That was really nice. And then some more throws here as well. So they were different. So that's a hooded throw, Iron Man hooded throw, um, Captain America hooded throw. And then that's just the Marvel one that we saw before. And then this is the other canvas art. Again, seven pounds really liked this but just got nowhere to put it i suppose we could have put it in the office actually looking around but i just didn't want to get it and then not have not have somewhere to put it so guys get yourself down to primark they had a great range of merchandise clothing homeware have a look and i'm sure you'll find a bargain see you next time bye